Each year, 100 dogs die from overheating in cars. When dogs overheat, they can suffer a stroke and eventually die. They are even at a higher risk if they are left in your car. On a normal day in the summer, a parked car can reach a temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or above. In these conditions, dogs or cats can experience damage to their brain, heart, liver, and nervous system. The scary thing is this process can happen in a matter of minutes. At high heats, a vehicle acts much like a greenhouse by trapping the sun's heat. The transparent windows allow the sun to penetrate all areas of the car from multiple angles, heating the inside. The heat is then absorbed and transferred evenly throughout the car. As the temperature rises, the glass acts as an insulator to keep the heat from escaping, causing the car to heat up fast, which threatens the safety of dogs, cats, babies, or even the elderly. My solution is to create a device that can detect the temperature within. It will send a signal to your phone, giving you the temperature of your car, acting as a reminder for you to know when your car is reaching a dangerous temperature. Via Bluetooth, the device will send a signal to your phone. The device will contain a passive temperature sensor built into a standard four-pole audio jack enclosed by a strong housing. An audio signal travels through the temperature sensor and the amplitude of the signal is impaired differently depending on the actual temperature. To do this, the device contains a high-precision NTC thermistor, a precision reference resistor, and a bias resistor. By sending a differential signal through the thermistor and the reference resistor, the device can determine the thermistor's value relative to the reference resistors. Then a wireless module captures those signal and sends them off to a mobile device or computer that can pair the two devices together and share incoming information. My vision is to work closely with major car manufacturers and embed this core technology in every single car produced by 2025. And hopefully my invention will help save many lives. Thanks for watching.